here we are on day two, testing out this Triumph Bonneville T100 Black, figuring out what we like and what we don't. Yesterday we were ripping it through the mountains, falling in love with the handling. However, a common complaint with these bikes is that they're not great on the highway. So it's a very windy day here on the Central Coast in California. We're gonna put down 200 highway miles, see how it fares in the wind, see how it fares long distance, see if it's squiggly, wiggly, or if it sits nicely and sits pretty on the highway. So I'm gonna get suited up and we'll see you from the road. turns out the concerns were actually true. This bike is a bit to handle in super blustery winds and, you know, kind of long hauling at 80, 70 or 80, it gets a little, it's a little tiring. Um, the bike likes to bounce around a lot and uh, like follow rain grooves kind of. Um, I mean, it's still super. It's still super comfortable for what it is, but it's definitely not a bike I would want to long haul on. I think Harley's still got that, but uh, I think yeah. this bike, as it sits right now, is you know maybe 200 miles and under. Aim for the curves, not the straights, and uh, try to stay off the freeways, which is kind of <laughs> what we do in motorcycling, anyways. But uh, yeah. The fit and finish on this bike is absolutely astounding. From the knee pads on the gas tank to the badge on the gas tank, everything is just put on very cleanly. It's a bit minimalistic. It's just so nice and tidy. Now again, this isn't a Harley, so you're not getting the brash, loud statements. It's very subtle, it's very refined, it's very genteel, if you will. You know, the Bonneville is one of those bikes where the longer you look at it, the more details start to reveal themselves. Nothing on this bike is saying, hey, look at me, but it's even like little timing covers like this, where it's got a mirror reflection on the outside to the top of the cylinders, the top four or five fins being brushed aluminum, the spark plug boot, a nice little maroon touch. It's really that that sets this bike apart. So as much as we love the Triumph in the corners, you know, the two lane black top, the back roads, the blasting, it's not really a highway mile muncher. You know, being sub 500 pounds, 900 cc, it's not, it doesn't track, it doesn't sit, you know, like a heavy cruiser does. The wind really gets it to you. Your seating position up on top of the bike, your whole torso turns into the sail. And I found you tire out fairly quickly. I think that is where the Sportster's extra weight, while it does slow a Sportster down, you know, there it starts to shine a little bit more on the highway there. But that doesn't honestly even bug me with the Bonneville, because the Bonneville wasn't meant to go across the country. You know, it wasn't meant to cross the American landmass. It was meant to, to blast country English backroads. It's meant to sit in a corner. It's meant to be classic. You know, it is James Dean, it is Steve McQueen, and that's how you feel when you're riding on a Bonneville which is when it actually truly shines. You know, it's the, the, the smooth, the elegant, the distinguished and the refined answer to the brash, loud American Harley. If you're looking for a bike 
to blast back roads, to blast two lane blacktop. You're going for like weekend cruises, you know, through a countryside. The Bonneville is an absolute gem of a motorcycle with fantastic engineering. It feels great. It's very comfortable stock. You don't, honestly, there's not one thing I would do to it. If I owned one, that I would change it really. It is an amazing machine out of the box. If you're looking for a bike to go across the country, this is not what I would do. However, for everything else, it's a 10 out of 10. But we're gonna take it for one last rip before we drop it off and it goes off on its next adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know, you know, your let me know your thoughts on a Bonneville. You know, what have you done to it if you've done mods? What's your take on taking them long distance on freeways? And Tell me which Triumph I should ride next because this is a hell of a motorcycle company.